Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to make cells turn color in a formula in Excel. What, what we're talking about here is something called conditional formatting. It's a way of having the format of a cell, the color or other features of a cell, uh, change depending on the value that's in the cell. So let's take a look at this spreadsheet I have set up here. Uh, it's just a fictional list of, of pay for different employees. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the cells that we want to be conditionally formatted. So I'm going to select the, the total pay here in, uh, in column D, um, just the values, not the total at the bottom. And then um, you're going to look for a menu item. It'll be under the format menu and it may look a little different depending on your computer and your operating system and the version of Excel you're using. But um, you know, pretty much every version of Excel today has something called conditional formatting. So you go to click on conditional formatting and it sets up something called rules. And the rule will say that something like if the value is greater than a certain number, it's this color. If it's below that number, it's a uh, different color. Or the more interesting ones are it can actually make the colors uh, change in, in, a, in a continuous way, in a graded way with the, uh, with the value. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so it says show formatting rules for the for the current selection and, um, and what we have to do is we have to add a rule. So in this, you know, in my particular version of Excel, there's a little plus there that says to add a rule. And um, it, the, the, the default is a two color scale. Now we can pop up, you can have a three color scale, you can have data bars uh, and all these other things, but let's just do what the, what the default is. And the, the lowest value it looks like will be an orange and the highest value will be yellow. Um, let, let's just try some different colors. Let's say, um, you know, red, red for the lower and, and maybe kind of a, you know, blue for the higher and, and let's just see what happens. And let's just say okay. And okay, so it's going to be graded from red to blue and kind of a purplish color in the middle and let's say okay. And, and sure enough, there's a, um, the highest numbers in the table are blue. There's 29,000 there and the lowest number here is 6,000. Um, and if you want, you can go in and, and adjust the format. So you, you need to select a range of cells and go back to the conditional formatting menu. And this time we're going to say edit rule because it's a rule we've already created. And, and you can, as you might guess, you can have more than one rule uh, set up. Um, let's say, uh, let, let's try a three color scale in, instead. So there's three colors. So the, you know, let's have the lowest one. Let's, let's try like a little rainbow pattern or may, uh, let's try this. Everything's green light green for the low and kind of a medium green for the middle and, and a dark green for the high. It's already there. And let's see what happens. Okay. And, and that's what we want to apply to. And there we go. So dark green for the biggest numbers and light green for the smallest number. <clears throat> then you can see there are a lot of different options you can play with in the conditional formatting menu. Um, so just uh, feel free to, to experiment on your own. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted and today I showed you how to make a color, a cell change color depending on the formula in Excel. Thank you for watching.